Hi everybody, this is Pastor Emily, and I am coming to you today to talk with our little ones about the last three days of Jesus' life. The church calls them Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, and then there's Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday. So I want to tell you those stories, and I need to give you a little bit of a warning. The stories are kind of scary. Jesus is going to get hurt, and Jesus is going to die. But you know what? Jesus is stronger than any superhero, and Jesus rises from the dead. He comes right back to life. So don't worry. Even when it gets scary, God's going to win, okay? So on Maundy Thursday, this was after Jesus had come into Jerusalem with his 12 friends, the disciples, and Jesus and the disciples and the people who were with them had dinner together. They borrowed a room from somebody and they had a big meal called the Last Supper. I've got a picture of it in my children's Bible for you. And at the Last Supper, they remembered the story of how God remembered his promises. God promised to bring his people safely into the promised land. And when the people were trapped in Egypt and they were slaves to Pharaoh the king, God brought them out of slavery and brought them through the desert into the promised land, just like God always promised. So they heard these good stories, and then at the end of the meal, Jesus did something new. He took the bread, and he picked it up, and he blessed it, and he thanked God for it, and then he broke it and passed it out to his friends, and he said, this is my body, which is given for you. And then he did the same thing with the cup. He took the wine cup, and he blessed it, he thanked God for it, and then he passed it around to his friends. And he said, this blood is the cup of the new, the new covenant, God's new promise for you and for me, for the new covenant that God's making. And everybody shared in it. And after that, now here's where things get a little scary. His friends went with him to the garden to pray. It was a beautiful garden, and they loved spending time there. But Jesus prayed really hard to God that night, and his friends were so tired they fell asleep. Jesus had to keep waking them up. And finally, when Jesus woke them up, there was one time that, they, that soldiers came, and they arrested Jesus. Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but the soldiers came and arrested him anyway. And they put him on trial, and people asked him questions, and people told lies about him. And the people who were in charge of the trial said that Jesus had done all kinds of bad things and he deserved to die. So the soldiers took him again and they made fun of him and they hurt him and they hung him on a cross to die. You can see right here what that might have looked like. You see some of his friends and some of his friends' moms are with them. You see the Roman soldier right here, uh, and Jesus hung on the cross, and he died there. And his friends took his body down, and they buried it in a tomb. And that's where Jesus stayed, on Friday night and on all day Saturday. But do you know what happened on Easter Sunday? On Easter Sunday, two angels came, and they stood at the door of the tomb, and they rolled back the big stone that was the door of the tomb, and Jesus came on out. And when Jesus' friends came to take care of him, to take care of, they thought he was still dead. But when they came to take care of him, Jesus wasn't there. The angels were there, but the stone was rolled away, the grave was empty, and Jesus had risen from the dead. Later that night, he came to where they were staying, the same room where they had had the Passover on Thursday, that big meal, and Jesus came came and they all saw him. Wasn't that great? It was a big surprise for them. And when Jesus saw them and Jesus, and they saw Jesus, Jesus said, peace be with you. And they all rejoiced and they said, Alleluia. <laughs> and Alleluia is what we'll sing on Easter Sunday because we'll be rejoicing that Jesus is raised from the dead. So that's what happens on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. I can't worship with you together this year, but you know what? We're going to worship together the best way we can. We'll have videos, 
and maybe you can send me a picture of your family celebrating Easter. You can put it on Facebook on Wittenberg Lutheran Church. You can guarantee my family Easter will be interesting. And uh, we'll rejoice together the best way we can. And on Easter Sunday at 11 o'clock, we will live stream the service right here from Wittenberg Lutheran Church. I hope you're having a great week and that you're staying safe. God loves you, and I do too. Bye-bye.